Hello, everybody, and welcome. I bet you you're wondering where I am. Hmm. I am on Oak Street in Calumet, Michigan, at around, well, 1915 to 1917, something like that. Yeah. I, <laughs> yes. So this is a project that the... Um, Keweenaw Park System is working on. They are recreating a scale build of Calumet, Michigan from about the 1915 to about 1917. So this was going to be a downloadable map. In fact, by the time this video releases, the first version of the map might be able to be downloadable. Um, I will have information in the description. I'll have a link in the description to this video. So I know one of the things that they uh, that will be on that map is a complete the monument mini game where you go and collect the, the items to finish it up, and then an archaeology build and discover site where you can kind of figure out like what used to be there and try to recreate it. Um, also, we are working on a scavenger hunt, which hopefully will be done by the time that map releases, and as well as this video. And I know that they're looking at maybe like a parkour. So, I mean, there's lots of things going to be down the pike. This is a huge project. They've got different stages. This is just, if I'm remembering correctly, stage one. So I was, um, Mimpa and I were offered to kind of come in and kind of partake and help out with this project. So let me cut over to where I'm at and I'll let you know kind of what, um, what I'm up to. So coming around the corner on Oak Street, this is my little area. This is my plot. Uh, this is the Ryan Block on 6th Street. So it's actually a historically recognized building that I am going to be attempting to recreate here to scale. Let me quick show you a picture of it. So that's a quick little picture of what it looks like. So I'll be trying to recreate that here, like I said, to scale. So I've already kind of got stuff blocked out as far as like counting the blocks to make sure that it's, it's to scale. Um, looking at old maps and documents and things from that time period. So, but this building still exists, it still stands. So you can actually go to Calumet, Michigan and visit this actual building and actually walk inside of it for real and here in game. All right, so let me get building on this and I will see you when I have a little bit more done. Well, when I have something started. See you in a moment. So I have the front done. There it is. So I kind of did my best to try to match not only the original materials according to the documents, which is why the sandstone, but also to try to match the colors. So that from that picture that I showed you, you know, I had that 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 kind of that greenish color down below with that arched doorway in the center, um, and then the way the details were within the structure of the stone and uh, the, the work there. So this is what I came up with to try to match it as best I could. And also in the picture, um, you know, I wish that the Minecraft texts were, it's a li li little not so crooked, but the building was built in 1898 and it's the Ryan block. So I added the signs on there to try to mimic the way that it was engraved into the building as best I could. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, it was a little different for me to try to kind of think outside the box a bit as far as, um, you know, building with these types of materials and keeping to the historical accuracy of it is quite a challenge. It was very fun. So one thing I had to do differently was it was lined up perfectly in the center, that doorway. But unfortunately with Minecraft, you can't always work that way. So, I mean, a single door in Minecraft, you, you can't center it between the two squares. So I kind of had to offset the door here in order to have it fit um, with the the archway and everything. So I kind of had to fudge that to kind of keep that piece of the architecture and still keep it within Minecraft. So sometimes it's kind of difficult to make those adjustments. So I'm hoping that the leaders of this project is happy with um, the balance of the reality versus trying to convert it into game. If not, I mean, obviously I'm more than happy to change things, So, um, so we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to get started on trying to add out the rest of the building. Now, there's not as many pictures for the rest of the building. So I'm going to have to try to do my best to kind of like, mm, like make it up and kind of go with what's already here and try to use logic to determine what would be um, a logical thing to be in whatever space it is. 
So I'm going to keep on working now that I've got the front done. And uh, yeah, hopefully the rest kind of comes together. Well, it's been um, a little bit of time since my since my, my last little, you know, I'll be right back thing. It's been a crazy week for me. I haven't had hardly any time to do anything on this. Um, my real life obligations has just been insane this week. But that comes kind of at, you know, an interesting, because of that, you know, it's just like, you know what? I haven't really shown you this. I mean, I don't want to you know, give away too much because you guys should follow the link in the description and download this and explore it yourself. I mean, it's pretty cool. This is now live. Um, the main the main downtown is available for world download. You can put this on your game at home and explore this in your single player worlds. So I was thinking that it'd be kind of fun to kind of give a shout out to the people who've put this together and to kind of give you a little look downtown. I mean, I don't have, I wish I could throw on shaders, but I don't have shaders yet for my Minecraft. I have to get on that. But there's been over over 11 people, 11 people that I know of who've really helped out on this project. Um, we have the two co-leads, who is Copper Ranger and Doc Jones. Um, they kind of dreamed up this project. So as I'm talking here, we'll, we'll, I'll start walking downtown here. So let's see, this is 6th Street and Oak Street. Um, so yeah, so they kind of dreamed this up. Now, Doc Jones is a PhD student at MTU, that's uh, Michigan Technical University. And he actually did a Minecraft archaeology project for his master's degree. So kind of pairing like Minecraft and archaeology together. Isn't that so cool? Uh, so yeah, and then we also have Addie Cook worked on the for, on the project, B Forest, Garrett, and Matt, and Mar I'm, I'm sorry, and Marriage Dragon 206. Um, Jacob Craft, who I'm gonna put a link to in his description. He actually built a building that I'm gonna showcase here a little bit. But go over and watch his video, it's phenomenal. Um, he actually built, I think it's down here. So I'm gonna cut real quick. All right, so we're approaching the church that Jake built. So this is his, um, his video on building this is pretty phenomenal. So that is also gonna be in the description. Um, also we have QCast123, Mimpep owner is gonna be coming over here and helping out a bit. He's gonna be helping out with one of the mini games, kind of having um, one of the future downloads is going to be like um, a scavenger hunt so he's putting together the uh, final like the collection area for that and then pound cake 5723 and vin vin gem are some of the people the some of the player names that have been on here putting this together so anyway isn't this church amazing jake did such a great job he's so talented so here is that so yeah i mean like i said um you know the first release of this map is the downtown area and then as things get added it'll be expanded so that you can explore more of the world as each release if i'm understanding things correctly uh link to the description um to this page where you can download this will be in the description be sure to check it out let's cut back to the main the main downtown okay so we're coming back up on the town um on this current release there is actually to complete the monument mini games inside inside the little town here and then there is also a rebuild the dig site so like a little archaeology thing and that's um, actually this little area here so you can when you download this you can come over here and try to recreate like the building that used to be here if you're interested in seeing like what that the house that used to be here looked like just shoot the uh, organizers a line, you know, send them an email and they are more than willing to put together like a packet up on the website that shows the picture of the house that used to be on that plot next to this building. So it's, it's pretty cool. And that's one nice thing about this project is the team is very interactive. They're willing, they want to hear what your input is. They'd love to see like what you're interested and in having down in this little you know, this recreation of Calumet and what you'd like to explore and things that we could add in. So yeah, drop them a line, you know, send them some love, you know, let's, you know, give them some input. They'd love to hear it. Let's just go take a look at this one. Cool. So the, also the kind of cool thing is if you download this and play with it in your single player, I mean, you could convert this into like a whole area. I mean, imagine you know, in your in your um, survival game, getting some villagers in here and putting in horses and animals, and this could be a really fun world to play in. So this is kind of this is really cool. I'm gonna zip through here, and it's just the detail that everyone's been putting in. You know, like the little stairs going up to this 
to this building here in this little back alleyway, and it's so cute. And, they, and it's so historically accurate. I mean, they've even got the family who used to live here. Um, you know, and what they did, you know, hotel work. This person, Victoria, was a student. And it's all accurate to Calumet from about, you know, like I said, about 1917 or so. Look at that. I mean, it's just, this project is phenomenal. I really can't say enough about it. That's, you know, great. This is awesome. Let's see what else can we find here. I'm kind of lost. I'm in an alley. <laughs> We're in an alley. I don't know where we are. <laughs> but yeah, I've, oh, I'd love to see those with shaders on. Oh. Yeah, Jake did, when he did his uh, video on his build, I think at the very end, he has shaders on, and it looks really nice. I love shaders. All right, so what street are we on? We are on another street. Let's see. Let's go over here. So yeah, this project, they're going to be keeping adding to it. They're going to add in more like little mini games. Okay, we're back to Oak Street and Six again. Hey, okay, cool. I know where we are, sort of. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. And it's interesting because it's so accurate. Like they're looking at old photos and information from the Library of Congress. A warehouse for flour and dry goods. This is cool. What's in here? <gasps> Ooh. All right. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure who built what. I know that Copper Ranger did a lot of the streets and things of that sort. I'm not sure exactly like who built what buildings. I know it's, it's definitely been a conglomerate um, where everyone's working together as a team, which is pretty cool to see. Let's see, where are we now? We are on still 6th Street and Portland Street. We have what, another fire hydrant? And it looks like we've gotten to the end of what's currently built. Okay, let's do a quick zip around and see what's down this way. Yeah, but I definitely recommend ooh, Birch Lane. Downloading this, making it your own, exploring it. I mean, this is pretty. I love what they've done with this. This is again partly finished. Let's go back over here. Ooh, what's over here? Hello? Oh, I could definitely see some horses in here. Yep. This is cool. Ooh, and someone's got a garden over there. Nice. All right, well, I'm not going to show everything because you really should download this world yourself and explore it, look around, take a look at the details, the nooks and crannies, the names on the buildings. It's, again, I cannot believe the amount of research that they put into this project. It's mind-blowing, and it's this is so cool. Oh, all right, uh, let me try to find my skeleton of a build. Found it. All right, there it is. We're back. We're back where we were. Okay. Um, with that, this is a short little episode introduction to this project. Um, hopefully that my in real life obligations lighten up a bit and I can work more on this building. Um, check out Jacob Craft's web um, build about this. Go to the website. Check out the information on the Kiwana National Park page. Download this world. Play the mini games. Send them an email. Let them know what you think. This is a really cool project, and I'd love to see phenomenal support for this group. I mean, it's I, I love the fact that they're doing this. I mean, this is really cool. Anyway, with that, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Dia Fox here on the Keweena, um Minecraft Calumet, Michigan from like 1917 era Minecraft city. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.